Leslie Moonves has officially stepped down from his role as chairman and CEO of CBS Corporation just over six weeks after allegations of sexual misconduct were leveled against him by on-the-record accusers. On Sunday, hours after a second New Yorker expose by Ronan Farrow detailed six more allegations of misconduct, CBS said that it was parting ways with Moonves, appointing Chief Operating Officer Joseph Ianello as acting CEO and pledging that the outgoing executive would not receive severance benefits at this time. Moonves released a statement late Sunday addressing his departure and maintaining his innocence, saying, in part, Untrue allegations from decades ago are now being made against me that are not consistent with who I am. Effective immediately, I will no longer be chairman and chief executive officer of CBS. I am deeply saddened to be leaving the company. I wish nothing but the best for the organization, the newly comprised board of directors, and all of its employees. Meanwhile, Moonves and CBS will donate $20 million to one or more organizations that support the Me Too movement and equality for women in the workplace. CBS said that the donation, which will be made immediately, has been deducted from any severance benefits that may be due Moonves following the board's ongoing independent investigation. According to the network, Moonves will not receive any severance benefits at this time other than certain fully accrued and vested compensation and benefits. Any payments to be made in the future will depend upon the results of the independent investigation and subsequent board evaluation. In Farrow's Sunday New Yorker story, six more women claim Moonves forced them into unwanted sexual situations and allegedly retaliated when they refused. The women told Farrow that Moonves allegedly did an array of unwanted actions, including exposing himself and forcing them to perform oral sex on him. Moonves, who has previously been accused of similar unwanted behavior by a number of women, also said in his Sunday statement, In my 40 years of work, I have never before heard of such disturbing accusations. I can only surmise they are surfacing now for the first time, decades later, as part of a concerted effort by others to destroy my name, my reputation, and my career. Anyone who knows me knows that the person described in this article is not me. One of the executive's new accusers, Phyllis Golden Gottlieb, told Farrow that she filed a criminal complaint late last year with Los Angeles police. Although authorities told Farrow they found her accusations credible, the alleged crimes happened in the 1980s, so the statute of limitations had passed. According to Farrow, multiple members of the CBS board were aware of the police report at the time of its filing. Speaking to ABC News anchor George Stephanopoulos, not even 24 hours after the Moonves ouster was announced, Golden Gottlieb was joined by attorney Gloria Allred on Good Morning America, where she insisted that in no way was her relationship with Moonves consensual. Explaining why she didn't file her complaint decades ago when the alleged incidents happened, Golden Gottlieb said she needed the job. I had two children that I was responsible for, and, and I, was, I was frightened. She added, I have gone through so many years and I would like him to be accountable for what he did. Farrow also spoke with Stephanopoulos on Monday in a separate segment where the two reflected on the monumental shift Moonves' exit represents in the Me Too era. It is the first example of a Fortune 500 CEO, someone who is really thought to be immune to criticism because he is so indispensable to billions of dollars of transactions, has stepped down. This is a first, said Farrow. And over on CBS This Morning, co-anchor Nora O'Donnell found herself in familiar territory as she once again addressed allegations of sexual misconduct and the exit of another of her colleagues. Speaking with her co-host John Dickerson, who replaced Charlie Rose after he too was accused of inappropriate sexual behavior, O'Donnell said, This is really hard. It is. It's hard for everybody at CBS News. The most powerful media executive in America has now resigned because of the Me Too movement, and he's my boss. Or he was my boss. So that makes it really hard to comment on it. Les has always treated me fairly and with respect. She later continued, There is no excuse for this alleged behavior. It is systematic and it is pervasive in our culture. And this I know is true to the core of my being. O'Donnell concluded her thoughts on the matter with a hopeful outlook, saying, So, I am really proud to work here at CBS News. This has hurt morale, but there are some really, really good people that come to work every single day. As a journalist, I am confident that the truth is going to come out because this is being investigated. This has to end and um, the story will continue. For more in-depth coverage of this ongoing story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.